<laughs> I found this in the air vents. Why were you in the air vents? It's National Clean Out Your Air Vents Day. You know the rules. Ugh. I, um, I haven't been sleeping well lately. Uh, because the arborist and I share a room. And the arborist does not sleep. He waits. He says he's not staring at me that is in some tree fugue state, but I, I, I don't care. It's just creepy. The first rule in the Amender house, well, no, actually the first rule is to always turn the fan on after you poop, but the second rule, no, the second rule is to always replace the toilet paper if you've used the last of it, and not just put it on the toilet, put it back on the roll. But the third rule, no, the first five rules are actually all toilet related, but there is a rule. No DC references. If you get caught with anything DC related, you have to pay. All of this is silver screamers. You know what? The DC rule is stupid. And, you know, Batman is just as cool as Tony Stark. There, I said it. You know what? We're more alike than we are different. I made a diagram to prove my point. Right there, in the middle, that's us. Police are investigating yet another mime attack in Central Park. Just as in the previous four incidents, this victim cannot name his attacker. While law enforcement is mystified by this recent mime crime wave, a local advocacy group has been formed and surprisingly, they are making quite a bit of noise. I'm here representing a group of people who have long been mocked, derided, avoided, assumed to be French, and now, now they're being assaulted. Since the police can't do anything about it, we've formed VAMP, the Violence Against Mimes Project. Our mission is to create safe mime spaces and to patrol the city parks to prevent further mime assault. We're breaking the silence to end mime violence. Breaking the silence to end mime violence. Breaking the silence. You said you were gonna do this with me. We should get involved. We should not get involved. Mimes are creepy. <coughs> Who's talking? <coughs> <sighs> mime prejudice is real. Did you know there's not a single holiday dedicated towards mines? That spokeswoman, her anger didn't seem authentic. Violence Against Mimes Project is a stupid name. It sounds like they formed a group to commit violence against mimes, not stop it. So they're not so good at naming. That doesn't mean we shouldn't help them. You guys, they're so obviously vampires. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's right there in the name. And they're so pale. It's an acronym. A and they're wearing makeup. My makeup. Because they're mimes. <laughs> so then Mr. P says, that's okay. We know being smart ain't your superpower. Like I'm a moron. I know I'm not Bruce Banner with seven PhDs or whatever, but I also didn't inject myself with gamma radiation. Did I? Is this the group that's protecting the mimes? Oh my god, it's cosplayers. No, um... We're real heroes. Not that there's anything wrong with the creative, fun, and rewarding hobby of cosplay. We're here to help. Um, we're good. But you were on the news asking for help. We were on the news to spread awareness. Spreading awareness does not solve the problem. We have plenty of volunteers. We're fine, thanks. That was weird, right? I mean, does anybody else think that was weird? Maybe somebody got to them, made them afraid. Who hates mimes? Oh, everybody, honey. They may not want our help, but they need it. I'll set up surveillance in the park tonight. It's going well. 
If we don't get too greedy, we could keep this up for a year. Is that tree getting closer? It's just the right temperature. There is definitely something going on with those two. What? Like the Dayton? I didn't get that vibe. No, something sinister. And the park was empty. Not even a Law & Order SVU camera crew. That's funny. They have 14 location shoots scheduled with the film permit office just tonight. We're getting to the bottom of this. Right now. Let's go! Am I not invited? We didn't see you there. How many times have we been over this, okay? If you couldn't see me, I'd be screaming! You know you've been tired. We wanted you to rest. That was a lie. We just kind of forgot about him. And honestly, kind of wanted to go without him. He's been really emo lately. You, you want to go without me? Fine, go! Go fight vampires without me! We're not vampires! I don't need those guys. That's fine. I'll work alone. You work alone. Okay, well, you have Alfred. And Batgirl. Like four Robins who all went on, you know, Nightwing, Red Hood, Tim Drake, Bat Cow, Bat Hound, sometimes Superman, you know, when you feel like it. I'm just gonna help. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go help. I'm gonna go help. Damn! There is a dimmer switch? Yeah, that's right. I can talk. Too bad. You just said your last words. Wait, we're killing him? We don't even know if he's done anything yet. And we do not kill people. He doesn't know that. And besides, I think we should revise that policy. Then you bring it up at the next board meeting. You can't just unilaterally we announce- We still don't even know if he's committed a crime. My parents are not going to let me kill someone. I'm texting them right now. Hey, hi. Excuse me. Villain here. I'd be happy to monologue. Lay out the entire incredibly clever and elaborate plan I've been working on for the last 10 years. 10 years? What? Like since you were 12? Thank you, but I'm actually 112. You see, when I came to this country, I did what any young person would do. I smoked pot, ate Taco Bell, and watched stuff on YouTube. And then I came across this show, hosted by an angry, fat redman who was always ranting about government conspiracies. Alex Jones? You watched Alex Jones? The place I was staying didn't have cable, okay? Anyways, the dude was clearly out of his damn mind. But I realized that the concept of a false flag operation could be applied to solve a dilemma my people have faced for centuries. <laughs> When we show up, people go missing, and that's a problem. It attracts attention. Someone disappears, someone else cares. We try targeting bad people, the kind nobody would care about, but bad people taste terrible. And then I saw that show and it hit me. Create a crisis, infiltrate a group, stage a series of assaults on the other members, and blame that on the gradual disappearances. <laughs> Where are the mimes? Oh, haven't you heard? Someone's been attacking them. The surviving ones have all moved to France. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. <laughs> but why mimes? Because nobody cares about protecting mimes. So we figured we wouldn't have to deal with any interfering do-gooders like you. But it was fun to break from the usual black coat, slick back hair, pointy teeth look. And the makeup is like SPF 500. <laughs> My God. B-A-M-P. It's not just an acronym. It's an abbreviation. For... Vampire. You're not gonna get away with this. I don't see why not. You just said you don't kill people. That policy is under review! I was... I was right! I don't know how you got here, kid. But I'm glad to see ya. Here. Take this! 
Oh yeah, I also got the garlic, salt, uh, silver bullet blessed by the Pope. You know, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I built him a uh, hat rack once. Oh yeah, and uh, a sword! You built the Pope a sword? No, it's to cut off his head. Oh, the Pope's head? Will you people focus? That stuff only works in movies, it's not real. So unless you have a seven-year-old boy in that belt and a white horse, you can't win this fight. <laughs> oh, let me check. Hey! Hey! Stop that! Stop that! Don't touch me! Stop! Hey! Knock it off! So, turns out all the stress from fighting with the team, lack of sleep, and feeling left out allowed me to mutate. I gained a new power. Incredible stamina. I must have been at it for 12 hours. Yo! Oh, wait! Stop! Alright, that's enough. Let's negotiate. As you see here, you're gonna have Florida, Arizona, and these parts of Texas. All very sunny places, I notice. Get a floppy hat. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. So, everything's cool now. The arborist has agreed to do his nighttime lurking thing in the backyard. The DC ban has been lifted. And I hear we might actually be getting a puppy. So, I'd say everything's pretty great. <laughs>